if you're having difficulty understanding this concept, the key is to uh, make the same face that Isaac Newton is making in this picture. Kind of, kind of stare off into the distance and uh, and put your eyebrows down. You know. There are two ways to calculate integrals of vector-valued functions. One of them corresponds to the flux, and one of them corresponds to the flow. I want to help you understand the difference between flux and flow. And it turns out that flux is just Latin for flow. So that should clear it up. We're going to calculate the outward flux of this vector field around this triangle. The flux corresponds to projecting the vector field onto the outward normal vector of the region. This represents the total rate at which the vector field is exiting the region. This vector right here is exiting the region. So at this point on the triangle, there will be a positive flux density. In order to use the differential form, you're always going to need to make sure that you parameterize the uh, path in the counterclockwise direction. So I've named the legs of these triangles R1, R2, and R3. Then I'm finding parameterizations of the lines. You don't have to make the same choice that I do, but it does matter that uh, the particle moves around the path in the counterclockwise direction. Now I'm pushing the symbols around to set up the differential form m dy minus n dx. So I need to change all of the components of the vector valued function into t and all of the differentials dy and dx into differentials in terms of t and dt. Let's focus on the path R2 and just check that I've done the work correctly. M is x plus y, and n is x minus y. On the path R2, x is negative 2t plus 2, and y is t. So you take negative 2t plus 2 and you plug it in for the x and you take t and you plug it in for the y and that gave me x plus y and x minus y. For the differentials this is the x term and this is the y term. Differentiating these expressions you get dx is negative 2 dt and then since y equals t, dy equals dt. Now I'm using additivity and setting up all of the differential forms uh, for each leg of this triangle. Let's check the details that I set up the differential form along r1 correctly. I'm using m dy minus n dx. So m times dy minus n times dx. Whoa, I got one. That's crazy. I'm sure I made a mistake. Somebody somebody find the mistake I made. I'm an idiot. Uh, I mean, I'm no, I'm no Jean-Baptiste Fourier. The units of flux density are liters per minute per meter. And the units of ds are meters, so when you multiply them together, the meters should cancel. And the final units in this should be liters per minute. Uh, if the red arrows in the vector-valued function represent the velocity of a liquid, then this represents the total rate at which liquid is passing out of the region. Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier. I love this guy, babyface Fourier. He's so cute. What was he? A, is he a bunny rabbit in, in a previous life?